Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Sanctuary. I'm your host, Professor C, and we're going to do some more A&P today. Finally, we're going to get into naming the actual muscles one by one by one. We're going to start with the muscles that surround the eye called the extrinsic eye muscles. Let's do it. So first, we're going to start off with an eyelid muscle, and it is the one in pink here. Try to get the colors to match as much as possible called levator raise up palpebrae that's the fancy word for the eyebrow and then superioris meaning pull it up top so it kind of gives it away what the action is in the name of the muscle it will originate back here on the lesser wing of the sphenoid and it will insert on the eyelid of course so it can pull it up and it is innervated by the third cranial nerve known as the ocular motor nerve all right, our next stop is talking about the extrinsic eye muscles. Six of them uh, will be used to pull the eyeball itself. So we usually start with a group of the north, south, east, west muscles. That's what I used to call them in class. So if I draw an eyeball like this, there'll be a muscle up north. There'll be a muscle down south. And there'll be a muscle east and west of center. And of course, those will help pull the eyeball in whatever particular direction the muscle is oriented. These would be superior rectus, and that's that purple one right here where I've drawn the arrow. Inferior rectus, which is the blue one where I'm drawing the arrow here. Medial rectus, which is the pink one back here. I'm putting some X's on it there. A lot of it's obscured because it's blocked by the others. And then separately, I'm going to put down this green guy that's been cut here. I'll put LR on the side of him for a lateral rectus. So we have four rectus muscles. That's the north, south, east, west. And very simply, it's superior, inferior, medial, and lateral. They all are going to originate what's called the common tendinous ring. It's a ring of fibrous tissue that we find back here. And you'll see a lot of these plug in to that little ring. Sometimes it's called the annulus of Zen or something strange like that, but you rarely hear it called that anymore. So all four will originate at that tendinous ring in the back of the orbit. They all will insert into the sclera. The sclera is this white part of the eyeball where I'm putting the check mark. So all these muscles will insert in the sclera, meaning that's the position that's going to be pulled. So that's where the eye will move from. All of these are going to rotate the eye. And you can, again, by looking at this first introductory picture, we can kind of predict which direction the eye will be pulled. The nerve, however, is different. For those first three, superior, inferior, and medial, they are innervated by oculomotor, the same one that did levator palpebrae superioris. But the lateral rectus is only used to abduct the eye, that is, pull it outward by the abducens nerve, and that's cranial nerve number six. Okay, the next two are the obliques. And I can point here again with my red pen. There's a yellow one on top. That's the superior oblique. And then I can wiggle an arrow all the way down here to this kind of tan colored one. And there's the inferior oblique. Notice they don't quite insert the way that the rectus muscles did. And these are going to rotate the eye in a different way. So start with the yellow one. It will originate from the sphenoid bone. It doesn't originate from that fibrous ring. It will still insert on the sclera, and in general, you hear this action as inferior medial rotation. It pulls it down and in. Trochlear nerve is the nerve, and that's a new one too. Now, the structure right here that I'm circling, see how that yellow muscle is being kind of pulled up through a pulley? And the word for a pulley is trochlea. So there's a specific cranial nerve that innervates only that muscle called the trochlear nerve, and it's cranial nerve number four. Inferior oblique is kind of boring, originates on the maxilla, inserts on the white part of the eye, and it in general pulls up and out, right? Elevate and abduct in general. And it is innervated by the same old guy oculomotor that we saw before. All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick one on the extrinsic eye muscles. Thanks for watching it. Uh, check out some other muscle group videos coming real soon. Bye-bye.